What are the edit icons? In order to add learning activities and resources to your course, or even to change the wording and description in your course sections, you need to have the editing turned on. So let's take a look at that now and see what the edit icons mean and do. We turn the editing on by clicking the gear top right and clicking Turn Editing on. Menus appear against each section and activity or resource, so let's zoom in and take a look at them. Other themes may have different editing icons from these, but they'll be in the same order. The icon to the left of an item allows you to move it up or down by dragging and dropping. If you can't move items by dragging and dropping, then ask your site administrator to check your settings and the site settings. It's the same crosshairs icon to move a section, so here I am clicking to move speaking up above listening. The icon to the right looks like a pencil and if you click it, it allows you to immediately change the title of that particular topic section, resource or activity. Then press enter and you've changed it. Further along, clicking edit reveals other options. Edit settings will take you to the main editing screen of this resource or activity to update it in more detail. The move arrow allows you to indent an activity or resource to the right and then back again to the left. And the eye icon lets us hide items from students. And we'll try that in a moment. With duplicate, you can make a quick copy of a resource or activity, modifying it slightly, for instance, for a different class or group. Assign roles relates to roles, something we won't go into much detail in this teaching with Moodle MOOC, but which you can learn about in the documentation. The bin is for deleting an item. If we delete something by mistake, we can find it again from the Recycle bin in the gear menu top right. Here are any recently deleted activities and resources, and we click Restore to put it back into the course. We can add blocks to our course by going to the Add Block link in the nav drawer and choosing the block we want. We can then hide or delete the block by clicking the gear to its side, and we'll explore blocks in a later video. Let's now try hiding the announcements from students by clicking the I. The person icon here relates to groups, again something we don't focus on in this MOOC, but which you can read about in the documentation. When we click to hide it, we can see now that the I icon has a line through it and the announcements are greyed out. If we go to our user menu, we see switch role to, and as a teacher, we can switch our role, amongst others, to a student or, as we've renamed it in our course, learner. This then displays the course page as students or learners would see it and the announcements are invisible because we've hidden them. So if we go back to the user menu and to return to my normal role, remembering to turn the editing back on again, we can see that the announcements haven't vanished, it's just that we hid them with the icon. We will now unhide them so our learners can read the announcements and get started on the course. And note that if you need to edit an existing activity or resource, simply click on it and you will see again the gear menu giving you options for editing. Finally, in each section, there's also a menu with an eye icon to hide that section manually and a highlight icon. If you click this icon, then it will highlight that particular section for your students to focus on. If you use weekly course format, the current week is automatically highlighted.